G'day guys, Dean here from the Australian Reptile Park. Now, gotta be honest, I probably have one of the best jobs in the world. I'm very, very lucky to be a zookeeper. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you some of the cool things we do working with our amazing animals. And up first, I'm gonna introduce you to my favorite tortoise, Hugo, and show you what it takes to look after a big, giant Galapagos tortoise. So tune in and we'll have a lot of fun. When you're looking after a giant Galapagos tortoise, one of the most important things that you do is meet their nutritional requirements. Now, of course, Galapagos tortoises are herbivorous species and they primarily feed on grass. Now, Hugo goes out on a walk every single day. He eats as much grass as he likes, but also too, on top of that, we'll throw in things like hibiscus or mulberry leaves. But on top, some of his favorites as well, are these foods we've got right in front of us. Now, I've already set up this plate with some loosened hay. We've got some endive, which is a great source of food for them. Couple of little treats as well. So I'm gonna slice up some carrot and I'll hide that underneath the bottom there. So we try and keep the food as healthy as green as we possibly can. Now I did slip a little bit of carrot in there. This is like a little treat for Hugo. And when we need Hugo to move around, a great way to get him motivated to move is with something like this. So a couple of little treats on top of this really healthy green diet. So this is my giant best mate, Hugo, the Galapagos tortoise. Now I brought down his food plate. He seems to be more interested in me at the moment, but if I place that down there, he'll begin to eat almost immediately. Well, maybe not, maybe he wants to come up for a scratch. So they are quite tactile. They do enjoy a scratch quite a bit. And that is a behavior you'll see Galapagos tortoises do in the wild. They'll stand up really nice and tall and birds will come past and actually pick off ectoparasites from their skin. So that sensation, they actually quite enjoy it. They can also feel when you're touching their shell as well. They have capillaries that run to the outside of the shell. So not only the scratches on the neck or on the legs, but also on the top part of the shell itself. Now with a tortoise, their shell is definitely their home. It's what keeps them safe. And the shell is made out of bone, but the scoots that lie on the outside is actually made of the same stuff your hair and fingernails is made from. That of course is keratin. That is the same makeup as the spines on an echidna or the outer layer on the cask of a cassowary's head. Now modern day turtle and tortoise species, they don't have any teeth. But instead of teeth, they have all these little serrations that line their beak. Now those serrations allow them to cut through what can be quite dense vegetation, just like this loosened hay. And you can see how easily Hugo is getting through this plate. Now he has to eat quite a bit of food. You're talking about a really large herbivorous animal. Hugo weighs 181 kilograms, but he's still growing. He's only 69 years of age, which means he's gonna live for about another 100 years. And then by that time, he might weigh more than 250 kilos. Now, I guess one of the more obvious things about a tortoise is the way they move. They are quite slow, but they're obviously a land-dwelling animal. They like to be on the ground. They've got these big, thick, columnar-shaped legs, perfectly adapted for carrying around this really large body. Now, even though they are quite slow, they actually eat fairly quickly. And when they are really excited for food, they can move quicker than most people would expect. Because Galapagos tortoises are grazing species, we actually feed them multiple times a day. Around four times, they get a couple of big large plates that they eat, but also too, they get access to grass every single day. And on top of that, every single day, we throw in some of their favorite types of browse. So we literally, we allow them to graze almost the entire time that they're awake. So pretty much they spend their life eating, resting at night, going to the toilet, and we clean up after them the whole time. You can see when he lifts his neck up nice and high that he's really enjoying that scratch. But to keep these legs nice and strong, one of the things that we do here at the park is we take Hugo out on his daily walk. So Hugo, you ready to go for a stroll out through the park, meet all our amazing guests? He looks pretty happy, let's go. I reckon I'll beat you to the gate though, mate. The Hugo walk is a favorite part of everyone's day here at the Australian Reptile Park. Not just for Hugo himself, but for the keepers and all of our amazing visitors as well. Not only can you get up close to Hugo, but you can even give him a little scratch and get a photo with him as well. It really is an amazing experience. Hugo loves the limelight, so these opportunities are great for him as well. You can see he really thrives when he's out in the park meeting all these people. So it's been a massive day for Hugo. A couple of walks, lots of food. It's a really warm day here on the coast, so what we thought we'd do is get out the hose and give him a bit of a wash. Yes, we're gonna bath our giant Galapagos tortoise. 
All right, big boy. Here we go. He is absolutely loving that. Obviously, on a rainy day in particular, they get under the rain, they just love it. So on a nice warm day like today, we kind of provide that for them with a quick little hose. Uh, he loves it when his legs get hosed, but in particular when you hose the back part of his shell there, that top part of his shell. He loves it. He stretches his neck right out. He'll close his eyes, just like he did right on cue. Uh, and you can tell he's absolutely loving a nice little hose down. So the reason we'll do this, particularly on really, really warm days, is actually a great way to cool the tortoise down. In the middle of summer, the peak of summer, you're talking about 30 plus degree days, the keepers will come out here, spend a bit of time hosing down lots of our animals, but one of our favorite animals to hose down, of course, uh, is Hugo. Also, sometimes you will notice he can look a little bit dusty from the environment that he's living in. So a great way to remove that dust is with a very, very gentle hose across the body. Hugo is one handsome devil. There's absolutely no doubt about it. This little hose, I guess, just adds to that shine, keeping him beautiful and also nice and clean as well. All right, Hugo, we are signing off for the day. Now, I got to show you a few of the things that I do working with our beautiful Galapagos tortoise. We've got heaps of other animals here at the park that I work with, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. I can't wait to show you more videos, so keep an eye out. Next, I'll be showing you our beautiful Komodo dragons. All right, Hugo, I'm going home for the day. See you tomorrow.